The ASEAN Development Bank, ADB, has maintained its earlier growth projection for Vietnam this year despite lingering uncertainties in the external environment. The country economy is expected to grow at 6.0% and 6.2% in 2024 and 2025, respectively. According to ADB, Vietnam's economy is expected to grow at a solid pace this year and the next, despite the challenging global environment. To accelerate growth, stronger measures are required to address domestic structural fragilities, such as heavy reliance on FDI-led manufacturing exports, weak linkages between manufacturing export industries and the rest of the economy, incipient capital markets, an over-reliance on bank credit and complex regulatory barriers to business. Public investment remains a catalyst for Vietnam's economic growth, so its effective implementation is crucial. Although the government has applied various measures to expedite public investment and enhance effective execution, more systematic measures are required to improve legal and regulatory processes and reduce constraints on efficient delivery. Apple has announced plans to boost spending in Vietnam as CEO Tim Cook arrived in the country for a two-day visit. The California-based tech giant said in a statement on Monday that it would uh, boost spending on suppliers in the country. The iPhone maker said it has spent nearly 400 trillion Vietnamese dong, or around $16 billion, since 2019 through supply chains in Vietnam, and more than doubled annual spending in the country during the same period. Tim Cook said in a statement, Apple is committed to continuing to strengthen connections in Vietnam from cooperating with local suppliers to supporting clean water projects and educational opportunities. Vietnam has emerged as Apple's most important manufacturing hub outside of China in recent years with suppliers such as Luxshare, Foxconn, Compal, and Goatech operating factories that employ more than 150,000 Vietnamese during his visit. Coke is expected to meet programmers, students, and content creators, as well as users of Apple products. Vietnam has proved its significant and growing foothold in the semiconductor value chains across ASEAN in recent years. Business strategies, consulting, and operations management firms, Tractors wrote in its recent article. According to Tractors, because of the COVID-19 pandemic and U.S. trade restrictions, semiconductor manufacturers are on the lookout for new locations, and Vietnam has emerged as a compelling choice. The Vietnamese government is capitalizing on this trend by offering competitive incentives for foreign direct investment projects, particularly in high-tech sectors. It added that Vietnam's booming electronics industry, led by multinational corporations such as Samsung and Daewoo, has played a vital role in a proportional increase in semiconductor materials to fabricate the necessary electronic components. Alongside foreign investment, Vietnamese technology companies are actively shaping the future of the industry. Notably, FPT, through its subsidiary FPT Semiconductor, has entered the domestic fabless market. Ten domestically manufactured offshore wind turbine towers are set to depart from Phu Mi Industrial Zone in Bà Rịa Vũng Tàu by the end of April 2024, bound for Jiao Nam One wind power project off the coast of the Republic of Korea, Jiao Nam Province. These 10 megawatt towers were produced at the CS Wind Vietnam factory in Phu Mi Tower. Established in 2003, this facility holds the distinctions of being CS Wind's first wind turbine tower manufacturing plant in the world. This part of turbine tower is part of the supply contracts between CS Wind and Siemens Gamesa under which Siemens will equip the joint number one offshore wind project with wind turbines. 
A further competition on Vietnamese Buddhism has been launched, inviting all photographers in Vietnam and abroad to send their entries. Entitled Buddhism in Life with the Team, the ascent of Chuk Lam Zan Buddhism participated in life affairs. The contest has been organized by the Quang Ninh Chapter of Vietnam Buddhism, Shanghai, in collaboration with the Vietnamese Association of Artistic Photographers. The event is to commemorate the passing of Zen Master Pháp Loa, the second founder of the Vietnam Chuk Lam Zen Buddhism, and in anticipation of the 716th anniversary of Nirvana attainment of King Monk Chen Nhân Tông. The contest aims to honor the invaluable heritage left by King Chen Nhân Tông at the sacred complex of Am Ngoa Vân Pagora. It also celebrates the unique values of the Vietnamese Buddhism and the concept of Chuk Lam Zen Buddhism in the nation's unity and development. Venerable Thik Dao Hien, deputy head of the management board and chief secretary of Quang Ninh chapter of the Vietnam Buddhist Sangha said that alongside the photos depicting moments of daily life and charity activities of Chuk Lam Zen Buddhism, the competition also welcomes the entries showcasing the natural beauty of the Am Ngoa Vân Pagoda, as well as images that convey the ideology of Chuk Lam Zen Buddhism to the young generation today.